flashback to 2009, despite offering only two lethargic cars and one three-push hybrid, Buick survived General Motors' liquidation-related rebuilding wherein the organization euthanized a bulk portion of its image portfolio. Buick was then accused of venturing into new sections to fill the gorge amongst Chevrolet and Cadillac items, an undertaking that periodically prompts Buick to draw in its worldwide accomplices to accomplish, including the 2011 Regal, a medium-sized car in view of the Opel Insignia. The Regal Insignia was a sufficiently exquisite thing, if not precisely what Americans expected in a Buick, what with its tight European suspension, four-barrel just motor lineup, and little back seat. It was amazingly enjoyable to drive, particularly in the turbocharged Regal Turbo and GS models that would come later, however they felt about as Buick prefer as a BMX bicycle. Highs. Payload region rest 2, common speedy turbo 4, drives like a legitimate Buick. Lows. A couple not really lavish arrangements, bargained rearward perceivability, never again feels like an Opal. So when Buick uncovered its updated 2018 Regal is, Grasp chest, hatchback, sportback, and high riding wagon, two orcs, models, with no vehicle at all for the United States, we thought about whether that implied that Buick had multiplied down on the Regal's Europeanness or if, regardless of its Eurocentric body styles, the Regal would really feel like a Buick this time. Since we've experienced the new Regal Sportback, first as an Opel Insignia now in Buick attire, we can state that the new Regal Sportback is each inch a Buick, a Buick that has been to completing school in Europe, truly, yet at the same time an appropriate Buick. Zero Edge Styling. It beyond any doubt resembles a Buick, although inspiring and beautiful and smooth however about as forceful looking as a naturally prepared Weimar honor at the Westminster Kennel Club dog show. Indeed, it's a hatchback, and its sportback moniker aggressively welcomes correlation with the attractive Audi A5 sportback, however it's a hatchback styled to resemble a car, and thus it will unsettle no plumes from traditionalists. All sportbacks, that aren't the Goost GS demonstrate, in any case, look pretty much the same, the main visual contrasts between the $25,915 base model and the $32,655 Essence form include the Essence's 18-inch machined wheels, Versus 17-inch 5 spokers, and standard haze lights, both of which are incorporated into the preferred II Choice bundle, $2,065, accessible on the $4,065 less exorbitant preferred trim level. The Regals we drove, counting our silver photograph auto, were all essence models furnished with the $1,580 driver confidence bundle, which incorporates self-leveling lead headlamps and in addition cornering lights, in addition to numerous different things you can see all things considered. Spending another $1,950 for the all-wheel drive rendition is likewise unannounced outwardly, put something aside for an attentive auto identification on the deck lid. Apparently larger in front, actually larger in back. The new Regal is 2.7 inches longer than the active model. It's not significantly more extensive, only 0.2 inch, but rather from the plain looking and strikingly steady driver's seat, where one faces a general, on a level plane arranged dashboard and where monstrous pockets cut into the lower entryways outwardly open up space, it feels as wide as the greater lacrosse. What's more, in the back seat, where almost two extra creeps of hip room have showed up, one would swear it has extended by a foot.